Hey guys, so this is what used to happen to my ship when it got shot by railguns. And now, this is what happens when it got shot by railguns. Alright, so what changed? First, you have to understand how the railgun and all the new cannons work. It might not seem like it, but all of them are penetrative guns. That means they do not do any area damage at all. All that they do is penetrate with the railgun being the most penetrative. Secondly, you need to understand how components behavior change in the new update. For example, if you shoot at a hydrogen tank now, it actually explodes. So, by understanding these two facts, you can better design a ship that is more resistant to railguns and cannons. But alright, how can you do it? Well, there's two ways of doing it. First is strategic strengthening or reinforcing of your armor. And secondly is by moving or relocating components. And the thing that you want to do is you want to prevent catastrophic failure or reduce the chance of a catastrophic failure or getting one hit kill when you got shot by railguns or cannons. So for example, if you have a hydrogen tank that is located at a location that is particularly vulnerable to your ship, like if it explodes, it will cut the ship in half. Well. You can move that hydrogen tank or you can reinforce the area around it so when it explodes, it doesn't cause a catastrophic failure. But you also need to be aware that when you move a hydrogen tank away from components that might need hydrogen, if the connection to the thrusters are disconnected, then the hydrogen thrusters will no longer work. So before you say, well, I'll just relocate all the hydrogen tanks, you need to think where your thrusters are. Or alternatively, you can have separate parts of your ship that is completely thrusters now. And those kind of design will now have more function because of this update. The same is true with all your other components. For example, now that you know that there is this penetrative weapons, you need to replace your cockpit or anything else strategically so they don't get destroyed by penetrative weapons. And the second best tip that I can give is now you need to reinforce your bridge or cockpit more than before. Because the cannons penetrate light armor more compared to heavy armor. Alright, now I'm gonna show you what happens to a bridge when it got shot by a cannon if it's heavy armor. So, in this example, it simulates a bridge that has light armor in the outside and heavy armor in the inside. As you can see, the bridge survived the cannon. Because the cannon is completely a penetrative weapon. Now, let's see what happens when you shoot the same bridge design, but it's all light armor. Well, as you can see, it went through well, all the blocks. It kind of goes there. It kind of went there. So to sum it up, reinforce the part of your ship where it's vulnerable and you cannot move the components that are vulnerable. Relocate the components if it's possible and reinforce your bridge or any part of your ship that you deem important with heavy armor. And just like that, all the cannons and the railguns in the game will no longer be scary to you. 
they will be just other weapons right so that's how you make your ship more resistant to railguns and cannons